Hello out there. Welcome to another series of uh, webcam hacking. And in this in this uh, video, uh, before you actually begin, I'd like to tell you that uh, it's a disclaimer uh, that uh, all the things which are were shown over in this video are purely an educational for the educational purpose. If you are trying to break into any kind of uh, things on internet, then you should have a proper authorization for that. And do not try to harm others, okay, with your knowledge. That is the first and key most things, okay. If you can't help others, at least don't uh, try to do any harm to them, okay. Now, uh, I just like to set up certain, uh, you know, expectation out, the, out of this video. That in this video, I have chosen a very specific camera model that is Hate Vision, which is very much popular, okay. And if you just Google about it, and you will find a very good uh, number of customer base they hold in uh, different parts of this world. At the same time, I'll be showing you that uh, what you can uh, wear from uh, if you are getting a if you want to hack a specific camera, what are the things that you should look for first, and then how you can collect those things, and at the same time, how could you analyze those things? So analysis part in this particular video, I have touched only the basic part, only the intermediate or the basic part of it. Basically, I'd like to say, in third and the final video of this series, I am planning to put a very you know intensive uh, analysis of the uh, uh, firmware part of the camera i'll be touching the firmware part in this particular videos as well but in my last and the final video of the series i'll be touching in detail why didn't i touch uh, touch this time because uh, it was then the video would have been a uh, lot of lengthy and you would have lo uh, lost interest so let's try to understand uh, that how camera works so whenever you just uh, get into some uh, you know uh, ip camera then you just uh, always greeted with some kind of login pages so this is a login page that we are getting from a hit vision camera have you ever wondered that uh, where this login page is coming from because if you just go to the login page of facebook you know there is a facebook server is going is delivering this that page to you okay so there is some kind of server behind it so where this uh, you know server is located in, inside that camera okay and what you can do about it so uh, to understand that we have to first of all download the firmware part of the camera so let's download it so i'll be i'll be analyzing the you know hikvision firmware for a particular version and uh, if you just uh, it's a very you know uh, interesting to uh, tell you that if you just uh, get into the hikvision uh, firmware it will come in the dot dav format so first of all you need to have a tool that is hick tools or you know i have just created my python tool as well to break into the uh, to analyze the you know hick vision uh, firmware but i'll be just using a tool called hick uh, hick tools and i'll try to you know uh, split this uh, dav file hick vision uh, firmware file into the various component that it, it uh, you know holds so in uh, sometime you'll see that what are the components that we are going to uh, receive out of it okay so i have just fired the command uh, sorry i have uh, used a uh, ne, minus sign hyphen sign or before split i think it will not work uh, so let's uh, use again uh, it's uh, hick vision split and the uh, you know the location of your uh, firmware and at the same time uh, location of your output directory the moment will fire this command it will give you a interesting output it will just try to extract all the file inside that dav file okay so it is basically uh, doing it so for you i hope the things are very much clear till here and i'll just try to make this video very interesting okay so i think now let's go back to our output directory and uh, yeah here there you can see here you can see that different kind of files are there there is some binary file there are some image files at the same time okay you can see there is an h root there is an init uh, root uh, run dot sh command so this command sh command is nothing but the bash shell so uh, my firmware is most of the firmwares around this world are made, made on uh, linux so they are they are uh, expected to use some sh file over there that what kind of uh, program that should run where it should copy where it should be extracted okay everything should be written in that init dot run dot sh file and there has to have some you know os that is the you know uh, root dot image file has to be there which will which will going to run in that uh, linux version of the camera okay so uh, 
what i'll be doing out of uh, out of here i'll be just trying to see one more file that is called i file dot uh, you know a gif file and if you just extract you know i file whenever you talk about the i file you must be understanding that it has something to related with the wave source code right so if you just extract this file and you just go uh, get into it uh, through 7 gif uh, then you can see that we are getting code code uh, dog dog base and uh, it is based on asp dot okay now the moment i'll just open this file you will you will now very much clear that where we are getting the login page from okay it will store various uh, script files like the login.js file lab.js file and the various file that are needed so let's have a comparison with the real life camera uh, that uh, we have we can find in uh, internet running uh, on thick vision so let's get into the code base part first and try to see into the login.js file okay just for a comparison so that uh, it is just for a just a demonstration that i'd like to see that uh, yeah we are actually trading on a right path okay so this is our login.js a lot of js files are there so let's try to open the login.js file that how js will uh, come into play and what kind of xhr request are, is uh, going to you know pass through the uh, through this js file so this is that js file login.js now higvision actually a chinese company so you might be seeing some chinese characters as well uh, so now just i'll show you that uh, source code of this camera login page and this is the source code of this camera uh, sorry i think this is some other version of uh, apart I, I think this is not the version that we are looking for so let's okay this is the this is the version that we are looking for okay so let's compare both the both the login pages one more time so that uh, we can understand that we are on the right path and see this is exactly the same that what we have uh, you know decompiled from that firmware so now one thing is clear that from where you can get the login page now even if you have got the login page what are the possible password that is that is, you know that is possible uh, to you know apply in this camera model now you might say that yes uh, we have got default camera username password out there in the internet who has to look after uh, but that is not the way uh, let's try to you know actually decoding the uh, real file of higvision that is the da vinci so da vinci file is nothing but the binary file within this firmware and uh, you have to extract it again and you you know in the top part i'll be i was showing you a different level of uh, you know function that were implemented in da vinci file and uh, now I, what i'll be doing i'll be try to grab different kind of uh, key string that you can expect like admin password okay databases this kind of thing that what uh, what you are expecting right suppose if i'm just providing a password to the uh, login page then where it is going to check it is must be the password is stored somewhere within the firmware itself right so firmware is ultimately going to store in some kind of databases so this is the kind of link up that you have to make okay while analyzing this kind of file mm -hmm. so you can see that uh, while checking few keywords i was getting pretty uh, good result out of it okay uh, but as i have promised you uh, that if uh, anybody having trouble in understanding uh, the you know reverse uh, uh, analysis of a elf file or executable linux executable file then i'll be uh, doing in my third and the final series of this video of hacking camera and in that i'll be just taking this camera in detail and try to you know break the file from beginning to last and entire video will be based on that so uh, now i just uh, gripped on the password so i uh, you know and the file is giving me certain like there is an admin okay there is a password this kind of databases are there so this is this is going to provide a, a you know ample hints that uh, what could be the default password that is being used by the uh, firmware by default okay now maybe uh, at the same time there is an uh, there must be some update password as well because uh, whenever you are talking about some management uh, you know system then the management system will have two things uh, for sure the change of password and uh, you know update or update of the password okay 
if not forget okay because sometimes the otp uh, for getting the otp that there has to be some kind of sim as well okay so that is sometimes not integrated in most of the uh, basic level cameras okay ib cameras now <clears throat> well, i think we, uh, you can analyze uh, the things at your end also just uh, i'll put this uh, you know uh, cameras uh, firmware in my github repo uh, so that you can all have a hands on it and uh, try to analyze at your end and try to get more interesting and results uh, without my guidance uh, by you know uh, using your own mind and you know expertise at different levels but uh, for, for for my side uh, it's a promise in my third and final video i'll be just presenting you the final series of analyzing a elf file the camera elf file okay especially not all elf file okay so uh, i'm just uh, doing with the regular fuzzing uh, to extract the ju juicy keywords out of uh, it uh, nothing else uh, here i'm doing so let's uh, now suppose we have gotten camera now we have got everything now from where we are going to get the ip of the camera so you know for uh, for the getting the ip of the camera again we have to now depends on the uh, particular verse for example this particular version how to look for this particular version in the uh, different threat intel platform now there are several threat intel platform as i have uh, you know expressed in or displayed in my last videos on a hacking camera series one where i have shown that yes uh, uh, like sodan senses uh, criminal ip these are uh, these are the threat intel platform and you can go and search a uh, different kind of protocols over there different kind of ports over there different kind of ips of server over there then you will be given the devices that are connected to those ips if uh, they have been crawled by these services okay so that's another interesting part uh, now uh, as i have told you that i hate automa i hate you know the manual work so i always try to uh, believe on automations uh, for this kind of things so what i'll be doing over here i'll just uh, try to uh, take one case studies uh, for hikvision uh, camera hacking live uh, using the uh, bugs that i have found in the firmware okay now this uh, this part of uh, you know hacking i don't want to expose it fully because the firmware then it might be abused okay no matter whatever the level of promise uh, ones make but uh, definitely it, uh, it does some certain kind of abuses also so this camera uh, i'll be using that uh, particular thing you you, have, you can also uh, do the reversing uh, reversing at your end if you just want to find out those juicy codes uh, so do it at your end and i'll just uh, i have created one python script what it'll do it will just go to the threat intel platform and try to scrap all the possible ips uh, having the same similar plugin of the higvision uh, camera and try to exploit it uh, one by one and getting a remote snap snapshot of the camera uh, if it is possible so this is the first camera this is the first camera we are getting the snapshot from the camera so the camera is a wonderful the ip is just before you uh, I again reminding you that please do not uh, you know hack into the cameras of others. It is just for the educational purpose. I just want to show and at the same time you know alert all the users that please try to uh, you know remove all these default uh, credentials uh, from your uh, camera so that uh, other other person cannot uh, get into it by reversing the particular firmware. And at the same time, if the firmwares are outdated, please update it. Okay. So you can see it is uh, pretty. Yeah, it is working pretty well and uh, it is giving us uh, insufficiently good result so uh, <clears throat> i'm not going to keep this python script for uh, for you know <coughs> safety purpose in my github repo for is uh, for avoiding the further uh, abuses so i hope uh, that you are liking my video if, if it's so then please uh, you know subscribe it and uh, stay tuned to my channel i'll be coming with this kind of